Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone. Welcome to another lesson about another type of essays, which is the expository essay, or also it's called the explanatory essay. Right, so when we say expository, of course, it's taken from uh, the word exposition. It means here the writer is going to expose information and facts about a certain topic or subject. Right, so here in this type of essays, we will expose facts, we will provide information, right, about a given topic. Right, that's why uh, what we uh, do really in this type of essays is to explain, to illustrate, to clarify, right, uh, and to provide as much information right as possible about certain topic in a way that it becomes clear for the reader right so our aim here through this type of essays is what to provide the reader with with sorry as much information as possible about uh, this or that topic right so this uh, type we can say it has uh, an informative function Right, and also it has an explanatory function. Right, it's an informative and explanatory function. Our aim is simply to inform, explain the reader about all the things, all what concerns this or that topic. Right, good. Now when we say it's informative and uh, it provides information, we mean here, of course, it provides uh, information in the form of facts, statistics, examples, uh, figures, right, uh, details, or any uh, kind of other factual evidence, right. It means all what is informative and serves uh, my purpose of exposing facts, explaining and clarifying information about this topic, uh, should be or can be included in this type of essays. That's why here, when we say facts and uh, informative, it means here, as a writer, it should be objective. Objective. Uh, if you can say, uh, don't immerse your subjectivity in your exposed to essay. The reader needs only to know about, to learn about, to have knowledge about, to have information about, that topic. Read. Right. Good. So here we should be objective. Huh? You should provide the reader with the information, the facts about the topic, not about yourself or your feelings and emotions. Right. Good. Now, uh, under this uh, pattern of writing, supposedly uh, writing, uh, specialists include many other patterns of writing. They say that under expository pattern, we can include descriptive writing pattern. Why? Because when we describe, we provide information huh? in details about what we are describing. Also, they say it can include the process pattern of writing. Why? Because when we uh, write about the process, we inform the reader also, write about, explain to him, and inform him about the different steps of the process. Also, classification pattern of writing. They say, because when we uh, determine and discuss the classes or the different types of certain topic, we are here providing the reader about information, right? And with information about that topics, classes, and the types. Even the cause and effect pattern of writing also is included under expository writing because here also we inform the reader, explain to him different causes or different effects or consequences of a certain topic or phenomenon. Right. And even comparison and contrast pattern of writing are also a kind of exposing facts. We expose what? We expose here the similarities and differences or and differences. So here also we are informing, we are explaining to him the aspects of this similarity or of this difference. So as you see here, we can say that expository 
writing pattern has largest use and the very wide uh, relevance to many other patterns of writing. Clear? Yet, we can say that it is distinctive uh, in the way that it is uh, limited only right, to the aspect of uh, informing, explaining, right? Uh, uh, now, providing facts, right? Rather than, for example, arguing or uh, mere contrasting or just, for example, uh, mere, I don't know, uh, describing something which is, uh, I don't know, uh, concrete and so on. Right, good. Now, when we say that it is informative, provide facts, information, uh, details about certain topic or phenomenon. Here, of course, the terms we use should be also, uh, uh, or should mirror uh, the use of this type of essays. That's why we use the simple present tense. Uh, because usually, when we construct about a phenomenon, uh, we cover its, uh, if you can say, timeless uh, information, its timeless features, its timeless, uh, I don't know, uh, details, and so on. Right. That's why we usually use for this tense uh, the simple present tense. We are not narrating the past events, we are just informing. It's like this and not like this. It has this. And also it has another thing, clear. So here we inform, we provide information using simple present tense, which is reduced for expressing uh, truthful uh, uh, issues and the things which are uh, true at all times, at all times. Right, go. Also, this type of expository essay is based on the order of importance. It means when we start giving information, right, and details about uh, the topic I'm discussing and analyzing and explaining, I should order my uh, details, my ideas, my main points, right, according to their importance, from the most important to the least important, or vice versa, from the least to the most, right, the reader should feel that there is a kind of gradation in the exposition of all the details and information about this topic. They are not confused. All right. They should be, you can say, a clear and in a logical and orderly way. Logical and orderly way. All right. Most important, least important, or vice versa. Right. Don't just uh, include information random like this from the right, the left, uh, the most important, the most important, and you confuse them. Now, one by one, we should create that kind of uh, uh, smooth transition between those uh, bits of information to make the essay clearer for the reader, uh, clearer for our reader. Go. We have many examples that can be discussed under the umbrella of expository writing or essay, for example, we can talk about or discuss uh, the topic of smoking. It's usually concern, uh, it concerns uh, phenomena, clear, or phenomena. Phenomena like smoking, like volcanoes, earthquakes, I don't know, computers, uh, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, climate fluctuations, global warming, uh, uh, and so on. Right, that's why we can talk, for example, about dangers of smoking, uh, importance of volcanoes in our environment, role of computers, autism, uh, and uh, also many, many other uh, similar topics in which, as writers, we can provide, write, and uh, give information to the reader okay, in details about all what concerns this topic to make it clear for him. Right, clear for him. That's why sometimes you need to conduct a research. That means before you write, supposed to be a say about certain topics, you should gather information, clear, of course, gather now, uh, to be knowledgeable about that uh, and well-versed about this topic, then you use uh, these bits of information in, of course, uh, orderly and logical way, uh, 
uh, after editing and uh, organizing and ordering and present them uh, smoothly, right, according to the uh, order of importance uh, to your reader uh, in your essay, right, in your essay, right, good. Now, how do we write expository essays? Of course, like any other type of essays, we have three main parts. The introduction, the body, paragraph or paragraphs, and the concluding paragraph. What do we do in the introduction of an expository essay? As usual, we start by providing general information about our topic. We we'll introduce it generally first. Huh? Then, in the last sentence of my introduction, I should specify. It means I should write my thesis statement. This is, if you can say, the topic sentence of the whole essay. I should include in it the main or the keyword of the topic clearly and what angle or what main idea I will discuss within this topic. Right. Here, of course, I must inform the reader uh, about what topic right, I am going to expose to explain and from which angle I will explain it. Right. So here I should include my topic, keyword of topic, and also the keyword of my Kotoyan idea. Right. Idea in a clear way, in a very clear way. Right. Of course, here uh, we include also in the sentence our way of development. It means it should be clear from this sentence that I will expose facts about this or that topic. And I will focus on this or that main idea within, for example, uh, topic of smoking. I can say uh, smoking has many uh, serious dangers. So here I will expose facts about topic of smoking and focus on its dangers. Huh? Volcanoes and their importance. Topic is volcanoes and my idea how they are important in our environment. In the environment. Example, computers and the roles. I will discuss computers focusing on the roles. Explain to him all the main roles of these computers. Clear. And also, I may talk also about, as I told you before, okay, uh, many other phenomena. Huh? Uh, also, the phenomena can be uh, discussed mostly in this type of essay. We explain facts about them. All right, in details, using examples, uh, okay, uh, figures, and statistics, and so on. Right, go. Uh, when we reach our second uh, part, which is uh, body paragraphs, of course, here I should come up with three or four major IDs. These major IDs represent what? Represent uh, the uh, main ideas for every uh, body paragraph. Clear. For example, in the first body paragraph, I will discuss the first danger in the first sentence, which is uh, the topic sentence of the, my first body paragraph. Second body paragraph, I will discuss the second danger of, for example, smoking. Right. Third also, I will discuss the third uh, danger. And after every uh, first sentence of a paragraph, I should explain it, detail it, give examples, information, right, uh, and uh, illustrate all what can uh, help my reader to uh, have a clearer idea and view about this danger and this topic in general. Clear? In general. Right. The last paragraph, of course, I need to uh, conclude my uh, essay, usually I will start with transition of concluding, like in short, in brief and so on, clear. I will first restate the main uh, or the content of my thesis statement, it means I will uh, repeat its content using different words, clear, for example, uh, the now, uh, smoking, uh, have, for example, has can have many uh, harsh effects. For instance, clear. 
that can risk our lives, example, right. And also, <coughs> after restating the statement, I also should come up with, right, the summary of my main ideas. It means I will summarize the major ideas I have used in the body paragraphs. Right, of course, briefly, only briefly, and at the end you can come up with a comment or a recommendation, right, about the topic in, in general. Clear. Just be careful, you shouldn't uh, insert or uh, include any new topic. Right, in this conclusion, just uh, keep restating and summarizing, right, and commenting about the same topic. Right. Good. Now, of course, here uh, our aim is to keep the unity of the whole essay that should be taken into account carefully. It means in all my uh, exposition of facts about this or that topic, I should always stick to one main topic. Right. Even the details or information or the main ideas should be all relevant to that one single main topic without any division to another topic, even if it seems to us a bit relevant. Clear. Also, we should keep the coherence and cohesion of our essay parts through using uh, the order of importance, uh, logical order of my ideas, my information, main ideas, how to explain every idea smoothly, and how every uh, paragraph is to, uh, to the other, of course, thanks to use also of transitions. Transitions are very important to create a smooth flow between the essay parts. First, second, moreover, in addition, usually we use here the addition uh, transitions. Clear? Transitions. Right. Go. Uh, now, you may ask me about the difference between expository and descriptive. Usually, when we say descriptive, it means we describe something concrete, a person, a place. Clear? Why? To create an image in the reader's mind. Concrete for an image. Clear. But when it comes to expository, here, usually it concerns a phenomenon, something abstract. Clear, usually abstract. And also here we don't mean to create an image. We just need to provide information, abstract information, clear, and facts about that topic. No need to put any image here in the reader's mind. It's just a matter of enriching my reader with information about that topic to make him well versed about it, not to make him conceive or perceive an image in his mind. Clear? Go. Uh, at the end, of course, we need to uh, introduce our model uh, expository essay, it's one I wrote for you in my own uh, way and style. Uh, it's about rows of computers. Right, so we'll see how we should apply all those rules we have seen together, right, uh, and the respect the structure of this essay to comply with the expository essay uh, pattern or writing rules. Clear? So, we start. Our direction. Technology has become an, an essential part of our daily life. Its effect has become more influential, especially after the spread of computers everywhere. Today, we manage everything thanks to them. Computers play multiple important roles in our daily life. You see, here I uh, started from general technology, then Computers, then at the end, I specify computers as my topic and the different roles as my main idea. Clear, main idea. Now, first paragraph, first computers represent the main manager in almost all companies, firms and businesses. So here, it is, its first role is about managing business. It's clear in my first sentence of this uh, uh, body paragraph. Now explain this in details. Uh, today, 99% of companies depend on automatic and highly advanced 
computerized systems and programs to run their business. 99% is what? Is statistics, you see. For example, example, explain more, give facts clear. Fact is, uh, program its or their robots to do all their tasks automatically and they are managed by a central computer unit. You see. Now second, main idea, modern education integrates computing software to enhance its performance. Second role is to improve education. Okay. With the advance of the telescope, web and e-learning, the PC or the computers impose themselves as an indispensable medium of learning between students and their institutions and the tutors. Here, second main idea and its expression in the next sentences. In addition, our third main idea is what? Security. Computers have a role of keeping our security. How? Today, our security is related to the different systems generated by or thanks to computers, whether in the factory, at work, or even at home. Digital cameras managed by central computers are managed to keep us under watch and safe. For instance, traffic lights, cameras can register and predict when accidents may happen, thanks to the computer's analysis of data and calculations. You see, three major ideas discussing everyone and looking at every paragraph. At the end, in short, conclude, the uses of computers are endless as they concern all life domains, without exception. So here, I resist the same thesis meant using uses instead of roles, and computers is the same topic, no problem, clear. They are necessary for a well managed business, a good education, and our security. So here I summarized it, the three main ideas I used in my bad paragraphs, briefly as you see. It's very important to consider uh, its value or their value and appreciate their multiple uses and roles far from risking our privacy. Far from risking our privacy. You see here, I have uh, come up with a uh, comment at the same time recommendation uh, about the use of the computers and that they uh, shouldn't exactly, okay, be used in a way that, uh, if you can say, uh, damages our privacy. Clear, right, our privacy. So this is, as you see, my modest supposed to be essay for you. All right, you can read and benefit from it. When you finish it, also enjoy reading my second essay, which is about human rights and also the other model essays too. So, it's the second model of an expository essay following the same rules, right, and the same structure. So, enjoy reading both essays and thank you for your attention and interest and see you. Good luck.